Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading the Remarried Empress episode 138. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode with the cat logo and everything. But if you guys want to read this without any blur, any censorship, and all that good jazz, definitely check it out on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Woo! All right. My queen? Uh, may I have a moment of your time? Step, step. Where are we going? You'll see when we get there. This is the way to his office. Does he have something he wants to show me? Uh, uh, Henry? Step. Oh, so pretty. This is your new office, my queen. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at the colors. Oh, it's like turquoise, emerald green. Like, it's just so elegant. Oh my goodness. And that desk and chair, it looks so comfy. He is so thoughtful. Is that why you asked me what my favorite color was? <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I do. That is so sweet. I love it. The Remarried Empress, episode 138. I've pulled together a list of potential aides, but the final choice should be up to you. However, if you're not happy with the options, feel free to look elsewhere. Also, there is something else I want to discuss with you. Uh-huh. Is it about Lady Krista? So, you know what this is about. I'm sorry I put you in this, situ this situation. No, it's all because of the potion the Grand Duke drugged you with. It won't be a problem if we handle it well. How would you like to deal with this? She ought to have moved to Compshire a long time ago if we were to adhering to customs. However, my brother told me to look after her, and I fear that making her leave now will only lead to more misunderstandings. <sighs> I honestly don't know what I should do. What's more, Lady Krista has always been kind to me, but she's been a little too friendly after my brother's death. Is that jealousy, I see? Is he implying that Krista harbors romantic feelings towards him? If so, that makes that certainly makes me want to ask him to send her away at once. However, as Henry has said, that's the worst way to handle things. If we consider what's best for the future. Compshire is a big, as big as the capital. And it has a thriving arts and culture scenes that draws in members of high society. If we send Lady Krista there now, she will likely ask others to join her there so she can have some company. It won't be hard for her to form a new circle of supporters as a former queen from an esteemed noble family. There's talk amongst the public that you might have had a hand in the late king's early death. We can't have rumors circulating that you're treating his consort poorly on top of that. Therefore, Lady Krista uh, must go to Comshire of her own vol vol volition? Volition. You're right. But how? We can think of a solution over time. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm glad I asked for your advice. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to ask. Don't you think the time has come for you to attend the cabinet meetings? Oh. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys have been warning me about this episode, so I'm excited. <laughs> it's clear that His Majesty doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> I've heard that he has already moved on a new mistress into the South Palace. <laughs> a new mistress? Do you mean Eboli? You shouldn't jump to conclusions until he announces it publicly. <laughs> but everyone's whispering about His Majesty's taking up with an even younger mistress. And when we were meeting the p petitioners today... <sighs> what happened? I recently handed out a severe punishment to my personal maid because she attempted to put a curse on me. I need to make an example out of her. However, it turned out that her brother was a journalist for the commoners who interviewed me in the past. Oh dear, what happened next? That journalist asked us to find his sister. His Majesty told him that he'll look into it personally, but he refused to tell me what he was planning to do. Instead, he told me off, saying that this was all my fault because I had mis imprisoned her without his permission. <laughs> to tell you the truth, that maid is quite pretty, so His Majesty secretly had eyes for her. That The maid also carried a torch for him. Oh, but, but don't, don't get me wrong, that's not why I punished her. I... <laughs> you are the Empress, so if things go wrong, the Imperial family's reputation is also at stake. Plus, you're carrying His Majesty's child. <sighs> you can be assured that he has every reason to see that this is dealt with. <laughs> Duke Ergi, I... I would have been lost without you. Viscount Lotatius' estate. Was Rashida happy to see Ian? I think she had to conceal her delight as there were other people around. <laughs> that wench will likely drop that haughty attitude now that His Majesty is bringing in a second mistress. <laughs> uh? What do you mean, a second mistress? How are you youngsters so behind on the latest gossip? You have to keep your eyes and ears open if you want to fit in high society. But it holds no interest for me now that Empress Nabier is gone and Alan's too preoccupied with his child. Oh, father, I want to become His Majesty's mistress too. That way I can avenge Empress Naviera by first making Russia suffer, then deserting His Majesty in a cruel manner. Heaven help us. He's taken another lover? How dare he? When he has Rashta. Why is he angry? Didn't he dump Rashta because she's poor? Now he cares? The remarried Empress. Okay. That's weird that now Alan, which is Russia's first baby daddy, is all upset that, oh, the, the emperor has a second woman. Well, we all know that, you know, Evelie is not really the mistress. She's not even a, mistress, a second mistress at all. She's just there, you know, there, you know. But Alan getting upset, boy, didn't you dump her because she was, like, your family's, like, maid? Well, slave technically but get out of here one we have to honestly say i love the relationship between uh henry and napier like that office that he built and create for her is just so beautiful and so elegant i'm happy they are talking things out especially with lady krista because she is a problem um, other than that, everything seems pretty chill in the Western Empire. The Eastern Empire is getting pretty chaotic. 
but we're gonna see. It's not much of a tea spilling here, but it's pretty good. All right, guys, we guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style. Feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!